Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing? I completely forgot to boot up uh, one of my programs, so give me a second. Anyways, I've been doing pretty good today. I've had, I hope it's uh, I hope it's the same for you guys. I got sent a video like less than an hour ago of some uh, some Japanese creme brulee cheesecake shit that looks fucking amazing. It looks like it absolutely looks delicious. And I'd love to try, I'd, I, I kind of hope that there's a recipe out there somewhere so that I can, like, actually try to make it. I don't know if I'd ever do that kind of thing on a, on stream or on a video or anything like that, because that seems kind of difficult to set up. You know, like, onigiri types. You awaken screaming. I, the, the, dude, the Faith fucking... The Faith video... Uh, the, the Faith stuff was so, so cool. That... I actually loved that game. I, I am, I'm like, I'm, I'm actually super glad, you know, it's one, it's one of the times where I'm, I'm super glad that I ended up actually like holding off, you know, like, oh, I, I didn't play, I didn't play the game, you know, I, I waited until I had the op, or I, I didn't watch any videos about it. I, I had heard that it was really good. I watched a bunch of other people play it. Or the, I saw a lot of, in my recommendeds a lot that a lot of other people were playing it, and I was I was I've never been so glad to have gone into a game blind and like essentially saved that first first uh, playthrough. That I was I'm super happy I did that. Greeting Steve, how you doing, my man? I saw that a while ago. I needed to get through my thought, otherwise I'd never loop back around to it. Anyways, we're going back to some Thief Gold. Thief Gold is a phenomenal game. Uh, on my YouTube description for the stream, I have uh, basically just me gushing about uh, how good Thief Gold is and how amazing it is and how we need to, uh, we, I need more people to play the game. I need more people to play Thief Gold. It's like $7 on GOG and Steam and regularly is on sale for $1.50. <laughs> so it's like pocket change these days. You know, you install Tfix and it runs like perfect on modern systems. Uh, the Black Parade is probably one of the best mods I've ever played, like, bar none. Like, I'm trying to think of if there are any mods I've played that would be, like, on par. And it's just... Ah, let's see. What games have I played that have had, like, really good mods? I mean, like... Skyrim's got a lot of mods, but a lot of the mods are also kind of mid, you know, they're real, like, that. like, there's, it's got a huge modding community, which is phenomenal, but that also doesn't necessarily mean all the mods are great. I, d I do think it'd probably, probably be something in either, uh, Skyrim or Oblivion, uh, as far as stuff I've played, but I can't think of anything off the top of my head that even, like, comes close. Anyways, let's get into the game, I have it booted up. Uh, Let's see, is my game capture on the correct one? It should be. There we go. Alright, one second, let me do this. So, uh, because I'm a, a, a silly goose, I knew that this game wasn't about, uh, wasn't about, uh, Garrett, right? But I didn't know who it was about. It turns out the dude's name is Hume, which is pretty, pretty neat. Booba mod. Booba mods are always great. That's true. We don't have a, a thief booba mod, so... Hmm. You're in Sons of the Forest again. Kind of wish you didn't throw a grenade so close to your base. Oh, huge hole. That sounds like a huge pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if, thief com if Thief's modding community gets big enough, we will eventually get uh, a booba mod where, like, you look down and Garrett has a massive set of titties... So you can't actually see below you. That would be, that would be a thing, eventually. I don't know how happy I'd be about it. I probably wouldn't install it myself. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go into this. See, there's all these different things, but we're not gonna watch any of that. We're gonna watch the cutscene first because I need my context again. Because it turns out if if you don't play the game for a few days. It's difficult to remember what the fuck you were supposed uh what the fuck you're doing. I know that we're working for some uh I want to say I forget the dude's name. I know we're working for a guy who is like super rich who we tried to rob. 
Metal Gear Solid 1. I do I, I do want to play Metal Gear Solid 1, but it probably won't be for another couple weeks, maybe a month. Alright, um whoops. It was gonna be restart. There we go. Alright, let's let, let's look at this. A veggie mod. A veggie mod would be cute. The Builder is thy most faithful ally in these times of peril and blasphemy. When the dead grows restless and thy mind becomes clouded with doubts. When thy hand loses its iron grip and thy body quakes with fear, never forget that the Builder harshly punishes those who turn away from him and his will. Things could be worse. I find it hard to remember what I'm doing by default. Understandable. But it paid off, as the wall seemed to be extremely satisfied. No rest for thievery, though, as he soon gave me another job. One of DeWall's musings is a harp inlaid with priceless amethysts, which belong to the Howe Trees, one of the oldest families in the city. He's been trying to get it for years, but none of the sneaks he hired to do the job came back, and some flat out refused to do it. And, well, I can't blame them. The Howtree family used to own a vast manor in the old quarter, but it was promptly abandoned during the incident, and now lies beyond the barricades, those huge ramparts the authorities at that time built to contain the dead. Ooh. The old quarter is a lively place, but few dare go near the barricades, and the immediate area beyond is almost completely abandoned. Save for the odd rogue in hiding, or a walking corpse or two. Finding a way past the ramparts is my first task. And once inside the sealed section, I'll have to make my way to the Howtree Manor. I have a map of the ward, but it's old and the barricades weren't built back then. I also have a map of the manor, but like the map of the ward, it may not accurately represent how the place looks like today. Let's hope I can find my way around, and as usual, come as prepared as I can. Voice almost sounds like Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I agree with you there. <laughs> but then I listened to the Shadow the Hedgehog, the, uh, some of the Shadow the Hedgehog cutscenes recently, and it's... He, 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 this guy sounds a lot, uh, a lot less like he's... A lot less like a teenager. I guess, was the best way to put it. Alright, so we need to find our way past the barricades, duh. Break into the manor, that's basic, that's part of this one, essentially. Uh, so we have to steal the harp inlaid with amethyst. So that's our main goal. This is like the, this is the main thing we want. One of the descendants of the old Hawtree bloodline has been looking for her family portraits. They were left during the old quarter incident and, with some luck, are probably still in the manor. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Uh, time to put my skills to the test. Rob the town of the blind for at least 1,500 worth of valuables. Easy. Don't kill any humans. That's just a really bad taste when you're so close to the sealed section. <laughs> I, I guess, yeah. Get out of Hawtree Manor and back where you started when you're done. Okay. So there's only one other objective. Or maybe there's multiple portraits. That's probably it. There's probably multiple portraits I have to pick up. Alright, let's see. So... We're mostly competing with the undead here. I don't think I need to buy more moss arrows. Um, I'll pick up... I'll pick up two rope arrows. Uh, let's see what this hot tip says. Um, let's see. We want flash bombs. I don't know how worth it is to have three flash bombs. I don't know how many we're going to get. Holy water. Oh, man. Maybe I give up a rope arrow for some more holy water. Yeah, I think I give up one, because I already have two, so... Get a holy water, and get the rest here? I don't know how useful fire arrows are going to be. And, like, mines... I, I, I kind of think I can do more work with the holy water. Yeah, I think I can do more work with the holy water. So this would put me up to uh, 12 water arrows... Hopefully there's more holy water on the on the property. Oh, let's see. Maybe I need uh, a 
Okay, yeah. No, I'll just finish off with these. That's fine. Alright. So, we're gonna get ourselves a new hard save at the beginning of the mission. This must be quite a pretty sight on some nights. But tonight isn't one of those nights. Dude, am I literally Batman? Wait a second. Is there something up there? Have I already found a place I can go up? Oh, let's read this hot tip. Some of the local landlords are damn stubborn and categorically refuse to obey some decree that all orders and that that orders all old quarter landlords in possession of estates close to the barricades to brick up specific doors and windows and their manners and the houses they put up for rent. Doors and windows facing the inside of the sealed section, to be exact. Call that morbid curiosity, or just plain stupidity. <laughs> Neat. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's use a broad, broad head real quick. Ooh, see, it's a good thing I used the broad head. Because I would have fucking missed. Alright. Hopefully this rope arrow hits where I want it to. Oh, the other one did hit. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Shadow's voice actor sounds like a fucking theater student in the ending monologues. Ooh, I didn't see you there, bud. My bad, dude. I didn't... Nuh-uh. There's no- there's, Nah, there's nothing here, bro. You're fine. No, no it's fine. Just- just turn around. No, no it, it, like, uh, you really, you really don't, you shouldn't come in here. <sighs> you really shouldn't have. You really fucking shouldn't have. Fuck you. Coming in here. How dare you surprise me. I was climbing and having a good time, having a good time. Alright, let's see. Anything in here? Ooh, what's this? Captain. Just a quick note to let you know I sent Granbell to silence the cabin boy. Your secret is safe. I'm also taking the opportunity to tell you that contact in Ferran Piley, a topman of the Maiden's Avarice, might be interesting. That chap had a vision, very much like yours while sailing on the northern seas. He insists the wind stopped dead for a minute and that a sinister, dark mass appeared under the water and gazed at him before everything returned to normal. The crew denies the event, but an uneasiness can be felt every time someone talks about it. How dare you stop me? <laughs> try to stop me from stealing, you monster, exactly. <laughs> I, I see you. No, -uh. Fuck you mean, no. -uh. <laughs> it's like that orc of, uh, you guys ever read the, I think it was a green text or whatever, or something like, the, the orc that uh, intimidates guards into being stealthy. He's like, you know see Grok! And like, <laughs> they just get scared and like, yeah, what, Grok? I, I, I don't see an orc. Do you see an orc? <laughs> I think there's an Omerta, and that this Ferran block is the only one who isn't afraid to talk about it. You can contact him at the Grinning Board Inn in Fidgwick's Hollow if you wish. Ooh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm picking locks here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Okay, I open the door. Ooh, smoke bomb. Not particularly helpful right now, but will probably come in handy when I inevitably fuck up and need to knock out a guard. Like that guy. Let's see. Ooh, there's something over there. Uh, I don't see any meat or anything that I can grab. Ooh, am I not able to... Hmm. Ooh, is that... I think that balcony is made of wood.
Okay, so I should be able to... Okay. Dude, I'm so... F okay, well, that's not wood. <laughs> uh, but I, I did get the... The stone, I guess. Okay, we're gonna see... I kind of want to see what's on the other side of this here. Looks like that's just rubble. Okay, and then I can walk across these chains. Alright, we'll, we'll go back to doing that. I'm going to crawl up here. Mm. Alright, so that doesn't open. Ooh, flash bomb. It's a good thing I got all the flash bombs. Protagonist with that nut -uh mentality are my fucking favorite. This is the last time I attend one of your banquets, Johan. This was the worst food I ate in ages. But, but I got those delicious foodstuffs from Bowen and and the wine from Salania. Your cook is responsible for such nastiness. <laughs> the food was overcooked and inedible. Well, yes, you're right, of course, verily. I'll have him beaten by my guard. I'll have him beaten? That insult to injury. The company was awful, and the minstrel kept looking at my bosom. <laughs> the minstrel kept looking at my bosom. I'll have him flogged and fed to the hounds. I am furious, Johan. Furious. Furious, I'm Johan. I'm very disappointed in the service. Your Damn, dude. Your spilled some wine on the floor, and it splashed on my clothes. Look. My garments are ruined. Dude, she's having the worst Such night. Honor to my noble name and to your graceful person. I'll have my servants sent to the pillory. <laughs> I think this dude is Swedish. Is also very rude to me and did not properly address my fine person of exceptional status. Such horror. I'll Such horror. <laughs> Of my soon to be mute captain of the guard, throw me out of a window for having disgraced you. <laughs> what the this fuck? Is the least you can do. <laughs> this dude is. I love it when valley girls do fancy speak. That's basically what this was, dude. Just a valley girl who's like. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Ooh. Oh, convenient. I can turn that off. Oh, but this is not actually a door. Ooh, can I? Ooh, okay, I can. Let me up. Ah, oh, come on, let me up. Let me up. Is there a box or something I can stand on? Maybe I should get this rubble? I don't even know if I can stand on this. <laughs> a lady taker is stalking me. I don't think he's upset. I don't, I don't think he's happy about that. I could listen to those retard NPCs talk for the entire stream and not be bored. Cause what the fuck was that, dude? Honestly, that was awesome. Those two, those two are just going at it. Maybe I should put out that light. Miscreant, a scoundrel, guards. Okay. Fucking, you two are hilarious. You deserve each other. I'm going to put you both in this dark hallway here, and make it look like. 
Oh no, we're gonna make make thing make it look like things went uh, went well for for uh, our our uh, our lovely couple of the night. If only they used the word defenestrate, one of my favorite words. Yes, to throw someone out of a window. Oh, that's right. I grabbed this for this express purpose. I don't even know if it will work. Seems like it could. Let's see. Uh, it's like I'm just barely not high enough. Oh, come on, please. I know I can get up there. Let me in. I'm literally just that guy. The from I'm fucking I think it's Eric Andre in the meme. Ah, come on. I want Dude, I'm way Come on. Can I not? Is there not like a box? There's got to be something that I can move. Ooh, neat. Oh, but I can't grab that potted plant. Damn it. I can't move this. There's got to be something that I'm doing wrong. Hi, how am I? I'm doing great, dude. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm fucking trying to figure out how to get into this vent. Not because I think I need to. But because I could open the door, and therefore I'm interested in f seeing what's there. What if I just do like this? Throw it in the corner? <gasps> ah, damn it. Come on, Hume, just put your arms out. Just, just, y you're like half an inch too short, dude. Can I... Let's see, can I, can I stand on the unconscious body? How funny would it be if this worked? I love breaking games. I like breaking games too. Oh, speaking of breaking games, so I was watching um, I was watching a, a buddy, uh, in, a, in another server, play a game called Lunacid, uh, which is stated by by the creator to be inspired uh, by. Uh, Kingsfield and Ooh, okay now now I can for sure fuck yes all I had to do was put the rubble on her ass oh, come on come on let me in why can't I move in here uh oh uh oh um okay Good. There we go. I'm in. Fuck yes. How it feels to be sub five foot eight. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does this always happen to me, Sean? I mean, he 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 was like a half an inch too short, man. Like, what do you want? What do you want from me? It's like I'm like jumping up, and if I had just half an inch more height, I could make it. As evidenced by the fact that I could stack rubble on an unconscious bitch's ass. Kill them? I didn't kill them. They were unconscious. I I, I knocked her out. Uh, because she like, because she was calling the guards, and I'm trying to steal things. So the guards knowing about that is a little bit of a little bit of a buzzkill. You know what I'm saying, dude? I won't do it. No, I don't think I need to put this light out. I'll be fine. How it gum to chew five feels. Stimulate your fucking stroke, I guess. Is there anything up here? Anything? In I don't think so. Ooh. A little bit louder than anticipated. What's over here? Ooh, the window. I can open the... Oh, what the fuck was that? Ah, oh, it's tile floor. Fuck. Okay. Okay. 
my gosh. And to think, there's probably a bunch of treasures and stuff on the ground, too. Um, see, these guards are all, all, all being buzzkills and shit. I'm out here trying to be a criminal and, and whatnot, and they're just like, No, don't steal. And I'm like, fuck you. Ooh. That was so loud. More water arrows. It's great. Is there anything else up here? I keep falling on the tile floor. Please don't investigate this room. Please don't investigate this room. Oh my gosh. Hello? Alright, I think they're outside. This is a door I can get. This is not the one that I'm looking for. Because I think the one... Yeah, I'm looking for the harp inlaid with amethysts. And I can't... I don't think... Ooh, all right, what does this say? The City Herald, 0912-833. The theft epidemic continues to ravage the city. If you want to steal, steal something valuable. Exactly. I wonder, I wonder what this is talking about. A theft epidemic? Oh, gosh, that sounds awful. The Abbey of St. Grimal, the, fa the father of boilers, ended up being the another target in an unprecedented series of heists taking place all over the city. While hits on noble estates have become almost mundane over the last year, now it seems not even the Order of the Hammer is safe from this plague. St. Grimal's Chalice, an artifact of inestimable value uh, for the Order, has been removed right from the reliquary at the heart of the Abbey. Cardinal Berengier has refused to make any official statement. What was there worth stealing in obsolete times? Meat or cheese? I mean, that's a good question. Probably food, yeah. And then later on, like, gold. Because gold was, like, the primary method of trade. And then, after, and then later it was banknotes. Probably that. I think that's the order. You know, gold and other precious metals, I guess. Meanwhile, Father Guillere, um, Guillere, Guillevi, Guillev, Guillere, I don't know, of Hightown has been quite vocal about the event. Tis no doubt the result of corruption within our very order. No miscreant would ever have gotten close to the chalice had the funds been properly allocated. Someone must have spent too much of the tithes on gold candlesticks. But worry not. The builder's right judgment shall befall all sinners who are to blame for this. Nevertheless, nobody yet knows who this mysterious burglar is, or if these heists are even being perpetrated by the same individual. The last case this brazen took place mere months ago, where when Lord Solace's fabled gem collection, the Gems of Sarnoth, was stolen. To date, there is no trace of the gems, and while the Baron's police claims to have several suspects... Commissioner Truett reiterated that they are not at liberty to release any details. <laughs> Why are you trying to steal? I'm trying to steal because, uh, so, if at first I was trying to steal because I was trying to get rich. And I was like, oh man. But then the guy who was my informant uh, ratted me out and got me uh, sold into this dude who was like, oh man, you tried to steal from me. I'm impressed, and now I have to either steal for him, or I get my head taken. Now, I have suspicions that this, uh, that this guy that I'm working for now is, uh, literally Satan. But, you know, we'll find out later, I suppose. Ugh, by Azura, by Azura, by Azura. I need to do, like... I need I need to like make a stream idea or something for for like going over the entire uh fucking Elder Scrolls history. I think that would be a fun idea to do. Like the in the like all of the lore that is known, everything that and then like how shit is like unknown. I feel like that would be uh that would be fun to do. Anyways, 
The only figure to have been implicated in this case is Lord Rainsford. Allegedly, details of his criminal activities that may have to do with heists have been revealed in an anonymous tip-off last Pampinosis. Is that a month? Use your anti-Satan crucifix like you did last night. I pro <laughs> Dude, that, that was so fucking sick. That entire game was awesome. Fumbles the name and gets, uh, gets pissed off. Father Gay! <laughs> Pretty much. Even with my health, that'd be like a 10-hour stream. There's that much lore to research. I know, it's insane. It'd, it'd be like a... It'd be one of those things where, like, you need to fucking... Like, break it down. Like, okay, this is the Mythic Era. And then there's an hour-long lecture on the Mythic Era. And then there's, like, the Morethic Era. And then you have all these different things... And covering the events, and like, oh, but we have conflicting reports on X, or conflicting reports on Y, things that might may or may not be true. It's it's kind of interesting. Ah, so, Pampinosis, huh? That's a, that's a month, I'm pretty sure. However, the suspicions were dropped almost immediately by the Baron's police for reasons not revealed to the public. I bet he's got a pissing fetish, and they knew. Ugh. Lord Rainsfirst himself, however, has been quoted saying, It's almost certainly a prank by one of my rivals. Just think for a moment. Isn't it utterly foolish to keep, an, keep a written track of illegal dealings? Unreliable narration be like. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, with, n with no seeming progress made towards unraveling this mystery, the Herald can only predict that another big heist is bound to happen within the next few months. Alright, let's see. Who's winning in Rumpleball? Downlock down, uh, loses to Dark Smoke 2-3. to three. High Town beats New Market 5-2. to two. Old Quarter loses to Downtown 2-4. to four. Now, I don't know about you guys. But I'm a big Dark Smoke fan. I think I I I think they're a cool. They're, that's a cool name. A cool. They're, they're, it's a. Anyway, so I'm stealing that. All right, let's see what's. Ooh. Oh, this is. What is out on the balcony? Hmm. I have no idea. Is this the right way? Ooh! Ah! I almost slipped off the edge right now because I was a, a silly billy. Alright, let's see. Do, 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 do. Alright, we're gonna go back a little ways. Um, yes, up this way. <sighs> oh gosh, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Um, Michel, My Michael, Michael Domaraki. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I think I know who you are. If you if if you if you're the uh, who I think you are. Anyways, welcome. How you doing, my man? Dark Smoke, more like da Dark Smonk. The, the, all they do is get high for the game with that performance. Didn't Dark Smoke win 3-2? to two? He thinks he's so cool, but he makes a cartoon Scooby-Doo sneak noise when he tiptoes into people's houses. Look. I, I don't enjoy... I don't appreciate that you're calling me out. Ooh, okay. I think I can get to that one. Every name you can't pronounce is Father Gay. Ah. Ow. Ooh, what's this? Um, grapes. All right, let's see. Ooh, what's this? I'm drinking Coke so I can last this stream. Does Coke have enough caffeine in it for you? Or am I intended to mean something else by drinking Coke? 
Um, I think I'll just go ahead and put this out. Yeah, I'll, I'll drink a health potion too. Because I don't know exactly how this is going to be. <sighs> Ooh. Duh, no. Explosive charge. And a fire arrow. Oh. Hell yeah. Yes, it can last you. Alright, hell yeah. I might I tend I tend to be really bad at these at these games. Or I guess I don't know about bad. It takes me a long time to Oh, holy shit. Okay, this is just well lit. I don't hear anybody. Hello. It's also all fucked up. It, is this the work of the trickster? Has he done this to this place? Can I Okay, I can put it out. High voltage. Okay, so there's that. Ooh, some broadheads, nice. Ooh. Ah! Those bottles are so loud. Bread. Bread! Alright, let's see. Okay, so I know where I am now. Alright, let's see. Hopefully. <laughs> Look, don't feel too bad if you have to hop off early. I... I... I don't, I, I don't like the idea of people staying up and losing sleep over me. I stream when I do mostly because my real life friends don't watch me. And I feel embarrassed when they watch me. Or a few of my real life friends. Like the ones who I live near right now. You'd think being a lepidopterist in the city in the city would be a hard task. With all that smoke coming from the factories and the grime on the walls and windows. Finding new, interesting butterflies sounds like a daunting task in such an environment, but the truth is, I have encountered many extraordinary specimens over the years. One such specimen was a very peculiar butterf butterfly I came across during, my, during a feast in Midden, Chapel, a few, in Midden Chapel a few years back. More precisely, at Lord Brockman's party for the summer, sol for the summer solstice soiree, I was half drunk in the back garden with a few other attendants when it appeared to me. A very imperial looking butterfly with very large, thin, and soft wings. The colors on them were very uniform, vivid, and almost glistening. I don't think I'd ever seen one this big and majestic before. I was simply awestruck by its beauty. It stayed there for quite a while, fluttering about, showing off its glamorous appearance as if it were trying to seduce us old, bitter poets and lovers of the aesthetic. It certainly worked in my case, but it sadly flew away when Lord Rutherford decided to have a little accident and almost broke his jaw. And to this day, I have never been able to track such a species down again. My last encounter with a specimen of interest dates back to dates back from a few months ago, just as I was meeting the eccentric Lady Ladivia at her family home in North Quarter. While she has a good conver while she has good conversation, she is, alas, quite the pitiful writer, and I had to endure her dreadful prose for what I believe was an eternity. She probably grew bored as as me now. Nah she, she probably grew as bored as me, now that I think about it, as, after a while, she drank some wine and decided to talk about her various trips to Bonn, which is a city I'd certainly love to visit. It was then that it flew in, a particularly odd but fabulous specimen of the sort I had never seen before. You see, dear reader, most Lepidoptera have a very smooth, thin, and most Lepidoptera have very smooth, thin, and symmetrical wings, but this one had slightly asymmetrical, short, thick, and rather bumpy ones. As comparison to the specimen above, the wings on this, were more com on this one were more complex in terms of colors with darker shades on the outside. 
Lady Ladivia was particularly interested when I said my old self was a very avid pursuer of beauty, and that I considered Lepidoptera to be creatures that no deity would have ever dreamt of siring. What the fuck? Lepidopterist or whatever the fuck is the weirdest, most fruitiest word I ever heard. I'm gonna have to mute me. Uh, that's fine, dude. A fucking, uh, Lepidopterist sounds, based on reading this, sounds like someone who studies, uh, butterflies? Ooh. Ooh. Free stuff to steal. Ooh. Okay. I am a Lepidopterist. Did he just call a butterfly fat? Hey, look, butterflies can be fat too, okay? And the term is plus size now, okay? The term is plus size. Fat is derogatory. How dare you? I can't believe you would even consider using that word. Fuck, dude. Ah, I'm back here. Okay. Okay. So I just went up through this building from there. I don't think I actually had to... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's a subset of entomology. Sounds like someone does medical stuff with lepers. <laughs> <laughs> their skin falling off. Yeah, I'm a I'm a studier of leperology. I study lepers specifically. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Holy shit. Okay, so I've been there too. I'm like 90% sure that is the uh, where the, the the that's like the Daily Herald or whatever it was. Let's see. I don't know how many uh, guards are on this wall. Nor do I know how many... I don't know exactly where it starts becoming too light for me to be hidden in the, in the darkness. I should probably... All... Speaking of darkness, I kind of want to play Perfect Dark as well. Yeah, you gotta stop jumping at nothing. Come on. I kind of am afraid to... I hope he kind of goes around the other way, but I, th I have a feeling he's gonna come through the darkness. Don't try to run, Tampa, oh. not a scratch! Uh-oh. This is bad. Um. Oh. This month's prize is 35 crowns. Calvin bets the chimney of the house with... Bets the chimney of the house with yellow bricks is going to collapse. Ah, okay. Harold bets the old burned manor is going to lose more of its roof before the yellow house chimney collapses. Wallace bets the Black Bridge is going to collapse. Still waiting on Bernard and Jerio to place their bets. Please add your bets below, you slackers. Um, oh. There we go. Alright, we're gonna put you in the darkness. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Me calling characters names like hot dog in my writing when I can't think of a good name yet. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I, I, I just... I, I'm sorry, you said that and now all I can think of is like... Is that that's exactly how Sausage Party was created. You know that fucking Seth Rogen movie? Ooh, this came into my inventory, so that's interesting. First entry. This parapet is the ideal overlook. I can clearly see the canal below. 
let's begin chronicling my observations of the sealed section. Alas, nothing too outlandish to report today. Better luck tomorrow. <clears throat> Saw some jackablade wade in the canal tonight, possibly thinking the sealed section is a good place to hide from the law. Too bad he can't hide from my piercing gaze. Third entry. Nothing out of the ordinary, just some cray thing passing through. The bowman patrolling the barricade next to my manor seems annoyed by my presence, but he wouldn't dare report me to Blackwind. Fourth entry. Weird. All the plants around the canal died during the night. Nothing else to report. Fifth entry. Finally, I saw a dead husk moving around today. What an incredible thing to witness. Good thing I have my spyglass. They really do exist. Observed the thing for hours, and it just walked about a bit. Sixth entry. Brought Basil with me. Might be my last entry. All the plants in my garden died overnight. My trees are completely dead, and the grass is covered with leaves. That creature is still there, but this time, it turned around and looked me straight in the eye as I was looking, through it, looking at it through my spyglass. Basil almost fell when I jumped from fear. Lock the garden door and stash the key in my safe so no one wanders there by accident. Ooh. Scribbled observations, huh? That's actually really creepy. I That's one of those things that, like, happens in horror that I always... I always think is fucking terrifying is like when you're watching something from a distance or when you're when you're looking at something through a telescope and whatever it is you're observing, whether it's a person, uh, a fucking monster, whatever it is, like somehow senses your presence and immediately stares straight back at you. And like you can see it's you it, like the, the gaze comes through the fucking uh, spyglass Something horrible is happening, but it's just like, oh no, hot dog died, and the door hinge is missing. What do we do? Ooh. A skull. I'm off to the opera. Please keep an eye on your father. He's acting demented and rubbing his skin with salt and sacred ointments from that priest crook. Do you know what he told me this time? He told me that he had to purify himself because tainted blood poured from the ceiling during morning mass. Of course... No blood on his clothes were to be seen. I heard that a few other people have been radically changing their behavior for a few weeks. The grocer's sister keeps cleaning her house while whispering that dust brings death. Old Craster is suddenly afraid of spirals, and one of the guards at St. Vimer's Gate, you know, that decrepit pervert, killed himself by blood loss resulting from cutting his own arm off. The thing they have in common... They were all at the old cathedral during that infamous mass, the one during which a stone suddenly began floating above the altar and started singing in a fiendish voice. Your father was there too. He's not cleansing with salt, he's just pre-seasoning. I mean, I don't, I actually don't think cannibalism is super common in, in the thief universe, you know, outside of, outside of the zombies, of course. But, like, zombies are going to do zombie things. Anything? Ooh. I don't think I've ever seen a cup like this before. I think it's funny. I've been doing this whole thing and I haven't found a way past the barricades yet. But I guess I'm fine exploring and finding, uh, fucking... Finding stuff. Alright. Dude, I about shit myself with that statue in the corner. That was that startled me for some reason. I thought that I thought I saw I thought I saw some shit there. What is this place? All right. Uh, okay, whatever, fuck it. We eat the fruit. Nice. Ooh. That's worth quite a bit, apparently. Ham YouTube filtering, filter. Cutting off your own arm. I imagine.
Yeah, cutting off your own arm must be pretty challenging. That shit is... That shit's not easy to accomplish. Ooh, wait. No, never mind. Okay. So we're gonna go down first, I think. Alright, this... This door is locked. Ooh. Okay, actually, I think I want to go up. Because I think down will lead me past the barricade. And thus further in. So I want to do a little bit more exploring. Oh, and I'm immediately rewarded. Hmm. Interesting. I've never tried it, but I'll add it to the list of insane things to try. What, cutting off your own arm? I, I wouldn't recommend trying that. That sounds like a bad idea to me. Anything here? Oh man, if I have to get all the way back to where I started, it's going to be a long trek back. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that creaking noise, I thought that was a, uh, I thought that was moaning at first. No, there is not enough meat for your midnight snack job. Besides, it's for the Lord and his guests. Not too long ago, we had so much pig butter and sausages. We could have given some leftovers to the dogs and the beggars. The Baron's coffers are dry, you big dummy. Haven't you noticed how high the levy on the foodstuffs is lately? War costs money, you know. I Ooh. don't understand. If the Baron needs so much money, why is he not minting more coins? Because minting more coins means lowering the value of gold. Uh-huh. Since when? Oh, and blast it. You both give me a headache. This guy doesn't understand inflation. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I guess I'm not too surprised that the guards aren't that smart. Then you can walk up to someone and say, hey, need a hand? And then give it to them. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Ah, no. I need the body. <sighs> okay. That man is the future dictator of Zimbabwe. If the Baron needs more money, why doesn't he just mint more coin? It's like, oh my god. Do you have time? Do you have time for me to explain economic theory to you? <laughs> It's, it's really quite complicated. I hear them walking, but I'm really hoping that the patrol just kind of takes them up into this room. You've been in Sons of the Forest for too long? Ooh, wait, shit. Um, does this mean I can't knock him out? Okay. I was a little bit worried that the helmet would mean that I, that he was like a bucket head. It appears that was not the case, though. Alright, so there was one more... I heard a woman. I'm going to assume that wasn't a guard, so I should be able to just KO her. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, well, I was right that she was a civilian. Ugh, creepy. Alright, I should be able to walk freely, at least for now. For now. This is gonna be a fucking rough... Ooh, whoops. 
pick you up. Mama said knock you out. There we go. Put you over there. Um, why do you have a busted ass chest here if... if... Oh, you know what? Whatever. You guys work for nobles. Um, nothing here worth stealing. Ooh, what's this say? Do not open this door ever. <laughs> well, well, you know what that means, right? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I can't open this door. Did one of them have a key and I just didn't notice? Um, I'm not seeing a key on their persons. Yeah. No key. Interesting. I'm gonna have to make a note of that. It says, do not open this door ever. Probably has lions behind it. You know, there was actually... So there is a... Uh, there is a chest. Or something. I, I want to say it was like a vault. In uh, Gloomwood. Like, I think the first vault you come across... Uh, if you input the code 451, you know, the the funny, uh, what's it called? Uh, the funny uh, MSIM number. You know, the one that uh, they started started in uh, System Shock? Uh, if you put, input that code, the, the vault just explodes and kills you. It's kind of funny. Delivery to Glendower Estate, 91233. I like how they, don't, they abbreviate 33. Uh, because it's 8.33 and we all know, but like, I we, we do it in 2000s because 2.0 is redundant for a long time, I guess. I guess I, I never even considered, oh my god, I guess I guess you would do that for the, for the hundreds as well before you reach the thousands. Anyway, it's three barrel of white mayonnaise, or mahonnaise, uh, 105, I assume this is gold coins. Uh, two crates of strong mayonnaise jars, 110, so for a total of 215. Please forgive my curiosity, but why do you need so much mayonnaise? You seem to enjoy this sauce's acidic taste so much. What would you say to a sample of Hutopil... Hutopil... What the f... Father Gay's Grey Cheese. The, the, the savors of this delicious cheese are very similar. I'm certain you would like it. Burgoy and Lancy at Traitures... Traitors of fine delicacies. I think this is like traitors. Like like traitor. Like I'm tr like Trader Joe's. Mess with me and your crow meat, tapper boy. Uh. Does. I guess. Well, I'm on the streets now, so I, it's not illegal for me to be here. I, I'm a little bit. I was a little bit surprised. Behold the Baron's justice. I'm not like breaking into people's houses. Alright, let's see. Ooh, what's this say? Let it be known that the Honorable T. Blackwind, Alderman of Gloomside Ward, is looking for a comp a competence. Men and women alike, able in mathematics, algebra, and all means of numerical sciences. Excellent salaries and lodgings are to be expected. If interested, inquire in person or by messenger at his mansion, Dancing Plague Street. Oh, uh, well, now I need to go to Dancing Plague Street, now that I know that there's a mansion. Oh, wait. This is Dancing Plague Street. Where's the mansion? Must be you. Mm. Wait, have I already been inside? I might have already been inside his mansion. What if I just kind of... Alright, here's hoping I don't make any noise. Man, it's... I, I hear their footsteps and I'm worried that, like, me fucking with the lock is gonna get their attention. Ooh. Ooh. 
Mm, hammerite area. Ooh. Money. Money, 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 money. Cell number one. S. Harsey for rabble-rousing and suspicious behavior adjusted to, adjudged to the pillory. Toothless Tamart for drunkenness pissing on the alderman's property. That's fair. Is for now the... For, is for now, for now, the future or of for real, for real? What? I'm sorry, I just read that, Oink. What the fuck does that mean? Only Brian with his Craig can help us now. His Craig. Cell 2 is unusable. Why is cell 2 unusable? Uh, cell 3. Shelly B for causing a scene, a judge to the cucking stool. There it is. It's back. Jacqueen has been transferred to Gilead speak upon Abbott Eckbert's request. Interesting. <sighs> hmm. Hello, Mr. Guard, sir. Who's noising about then? Who's noising about then? Me. It's me. <sighs> I'm gonna put you over here, and I'm gonna check out what the fuck this is. Oh wait, that door's open. Is this why it's unusable? I don't see anything back here. Creepy. It's dark in there. You said n now for now like five minutes ago. <laughs> oh my god. For now, for now, for real, for real. Look, okay, sometimes I'm, sometimes, sometimes I'm a little bit special ed. Okay. I wonder if there's anything back here. I don't think so. Ooh. Um, no one of importance. I didn't realize there was someone there. But it sounded like a civilian, so I should be able to just... Knock him out. Oh, wait. It's the criminals. Oh, this must be the unusable cell. Okay. Okay. We're gonna- we're gonna finish looting the prison. Creepy. I hear the chains moving and that freaks me out. So I don't know what the fuck that is. You guys hear that? I don't like that. That's scary. Alright, anything here? Ooh. Ooh, what the fuck is this? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There be a na there be a dude up here. So none of these are doing anything. Is this the door that I'm not supposed to open ever? It's not, because I couldn't pick that lock. Unless I can pick it from this side. Okay, well... We continue exploring. Degree, degree. Ooh, what's this say? The builder doth not want good words and good desires, but efficient workmanship, fervor, and courage. Saint Basilius the Sequis... Yeah, whatever. The, the something blacksmith. Cool. Got that. Ooh.
Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? And what does this do? I turned something off. Alright, we're gonna see what's up here real quick before I... Ooh. There's something up here. Strength potion. Interesting. Alright, I guess we follow the flies now. But I'm curious what the off thing I just pushed was. I think this is just a lock on the house door. Oh. Yep, close that. Ooh, moss. Holy water. Fuck yes. Ooh. A really valuable book by the looks of it. Oh. Oh. Whatever I turned off, I'm pretty sure is related to these pressure plates. Ooh, sneaky. All right, nothing behind there. This is fucking scary. Did you find the Necronomicon? I don't know, man. So many notes are written by Father Gay. Wow. There's something. There's something down there. I have a feeling this is going to be where I make my exit. Alright. Alright, so we're going to go back towards that sewer looking area. And we're going to take the... God, this is... All right, we're going to leave that open, because otherwise this is going to unnerve me. Oh, fuck no. Dude, this is the trickster... This has trickster written all over it. <gasps> oh, fuck! <laughs> well, that was a long way down. What the fuck? I need to double check, make sure. left this open. Alright, yeah. I have everything from there. Okay. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I don't like the clicking noise that those, that these dudes make. I f Dude, these guys are scary. You made Merc Squidward mad again? I did no such thing. this thing.
I clicked my pen just as you said the I hate the clicking noise. Look, I can't hear you. This fucking thing, though, needs to die. And he takes so many arrows to kill. Oh my god. Oh no. He was an honest burglar. Just trying to just trying to do some some normal thieving. Oh my fucking you little motherfucker. Is he trapped in there? He better be trapped in there. That motherfucker scared the shit out of me. That was terrifying. What the fuck? Alright, well I think we're... I don't know about past the barricade, but past the point of the barricade mattering. All right. <sighs> oh god, this is this whole area is freaky. Hmm. Alright, we gotta make sure. We gotta make sure. Ah, fuck. Um, hello? Let me, let me, let me up here? There we go. Okay. You're back! How you doing, my man? Okay, let's see. Fuck this whole thing. This is terrifying. Ooh, okay, there's a way up there if I use my rope arrow. Assuming I don't for some reason. What am I doing now? Uh, well, I found the sewers. And, uh, there's a fucking scary ass... There's, there's some trickster shit going on here, I'm pretty sure. See, like, these... These guys... All three of them... I don't think these guys have hands. His hands have been sharpened into, into little knives. Oh, hello, dude. Sorry, dude, I didn't mean to disturb your eternal unrest like that. That's my bad. Anything uh, over here? Um, so there's a path through there, and I can also go up there. I guess we'll just go down into the icky, gross water. Oh! I think that means we're past the barricade. Yep. Alright, now we have to find the... Ooh, creepy. Alright. Now we have to find all the different things. We gotta find paintings? I assume there's multiple. Like, I'm assuming there's multiple different places we have to go for those. Let me have the water. Or not, I guess. You could fake me out like that. That's cool, too. All right. Anything? Maybe we should have gone back and gone up. I don't know if there's a... Oh, you know what we might need to do? Is get up. Oof.
All right, I think what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back under the water, go into the sewer again, essentially. Uh, down this way. And we're gonna find our way back to the... I think the other route might be a little bit easier. Jesus. Keep slipping. Let me up here. Or not. Come on, let me up. Oh, that was it. And I didn't hold my button. Ooh, there we go. Alright. Going up through here. Ooh. Um, hmm. I wonder why a hammerite would be uh, dis disemboweled and displayed, I guess. We have a generic thief looking dude. Ooh, some stuff. We got a mine. That's good. Mines are always good for the undead. Um, a spirit potion. I don't. I still don't really understand what spirit potions do. I did use one, but mostly out of desperation. All right. Let's see. Um, see. Hmm. Water arrows down there. Well, water arrows are always helpful. Mm -hmm. Alright, and then I think we have to check down this hallway. Ooh. Lollipop, lollipop. Scary. Oh no, don't worry, don't worry. You don't gotta get up. Um, I don't see anything over here. Eyes up, damn it. Well, luckily there shouldn't be too much. Ooh. There's a lot of moss growing on that corpse. Ooh. Icky. Alright, this would have also gotten us past the barricade, I think. It's just a different way past. Alright, let's see. I'm not gonna lie. Contesting with the undead is always kind of... I actually think it's kind of scary in the Thief games. Like, it's one of the few times where combat is applicable. Because... At least if you're playing on expert. Generally the rule is don't kill people. Don't kill things. Okay. And when the rule is don't kill things. Ooh. Um. Oh man. Wait a second. I have... I'm almost certain I have a button. Um, controls. That should be a lean forward button, right? Forget what it was. Lean forward is... W plus alt and shift. So, alt, shift, W? Got it. There we go. I knew the button existed. And I should be able to just walk off. Yeah, there we go. 
Alrighty. Yeah, gotta pick the lock, obviously. Silly me, thinking that I could just open a door. Oh, I guess I can't pick this. Oh, this must be the door uh, that you're never supposed to open. That, I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's see. Hmm. Does that lead me to where I want to go? Here. Uh, like, you know, jump over it, fuck it. I don't think it does. Hmm. W's, no L's. Dubs, check them. What? There are no numbers here. Unless you're referring to, like, the timestamp, maybe, or something? Let's see. I like your words, funny man! Alright, go like so. Oh, fuck. Ooh, no! Oh my gosh, trying to... I feel like I'm doing platforming right now, and I'm failing miserably because I'm bad at platforming. Come on, come on. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So now, now we're up on top. Okay. Then we're gonna stay here a little bit, make sure, make sure I'm actually balanced. There we go. See, there's all these corpses about. Ooh. Smooth brain, dense and shiny. You cannot insult me. The insult. My brain is too smooth. Yours is gross and wrinkly. Two L's a dub. L's a dub? It's the cop. It's L's a. It's, it's a. BL's a. BL's a. What was it? BL's a. Oh, hello. I forgot about you. It's okay. Ooh, let me up. No, look, look. I'm sorry that I disturbed your, your, your rest. But like, I really need to steal this stuff. You don't understand. My desire for uh, wealth is greater than. Oh, ooh, ooh. let's see. Can I get up on top of there? That looks like it's made of metal. I can. Okay, okay. Gonna make sure I don't fuck this up. Yo. Oh, God. That's terrifying. Okay, what does this say? G. So the duel is taking place tomorrow at Wuville Court on the third afternoon chime. I find our little game incredibly amusing, and I cannot believe how everyone is utterly oblivious to it. I guess these acting lessons really paid off in the end. It really is an ordeal trying not to chuckle and lose composure when you act offended by my insult that started this whole ridiculous case. These people really are lackwits. Without, uh, with convincing anger, threats, and a high birth, you can make them waste money on lawyers for a simple weight insult. Our lives used to be so, so dull, but this is the bee's knees. I have never laughed this much in my entire existence. But it's not over, my friend. It's not over. For I bet you five Amontillado bottles that my lawyer wins the duel. He is far from good in a courtroom. So much so I could defend myself. But I heard he was one damn fine swordsman. 
I shall try to catch some sleep, but I am already very impatient. See you tomorrow and bring my prize. Asshole. Oh, he is uh, he is indeed a corpse. So I guess uh, I guess he got what he deserves. Let's see. Anything over here? That would be kind of an actually, now that I think of it, that's a kind of interesting uh, way to I guess assassinate noblemen uh, would be to fucking uh, whoopsies um, menu load uh, quick save uh, would be to like do the that whole thing where you like insult them and whatever but then instead of uh, instead of, like, paying a fine or whatever, you just duel them, and then you kill them. How do you even catch sleep when you don't have your own jellyfish net, Squidward? Oh my god. Challenge them to a duel and then cheat? Pretty much, dude. I wonder... I should be able to hit this one, right? Interesting. Ooh, okay. Hello. You couldn't just challenge the noble to a duel, though, I think. I think that they would probably do that thing where it's like, oh, I name so-and-so my champion, and then they would fight on that person's behalf. I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and use a holy water here. There you are. There we go. Cool. That was not too, uh, too difficult to do. How about gun? I mean, gun is how we started dueling uh, later on. I was like, you know what? I do think that that meme, uh, the, the fucking what two men do at ten paces is none of the government's business. Ooh, uh, mm. Oh, I didn't take any damage. Okay. to get up going like this. Sweet. Ups a daisy. Dude, I fucking... I love mantling like this. I think it's so cool. Ooh. I hear sp spiders. like I can pick this lock. There we go. Pick this lock. Take it. Take it. Take a look. Spiders. 
creepy. Ooh, another rope arrow. Sick. Okay, I think... I think I've taken en enough damage to warrant another healing potion. Ugh. I think that should max me out. Alright, let's see. Ooh, nice. Can I... Okay, can't pick up anything back there, I don't think. Ooh, hello. Is there any stuff for me to steal? I'm a... I'm a guy who wants things. Come on. I should be able to just take this... Take the zombie out. I don't think it'll die permanently. But I can knock it down at least. Yeah. Okay, nothing like that. Ooh, scary. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's not good. Um. Oh my god. Holy shit, did I just fucking save myself there? Because I'm pretty sure this water is where I came in the first time where I was kind of like, uh, man, I don't know if I can get out. Ooh. This looks like a house of bad dreams. I better be careful. This is the place. This is the place. An hour and a half in and we're finally at the location. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This looks like a house of bad dreams. Better be careful. You know, I've, I've always wanted to do, like, some voice acting at some point, but the... Ooh, creepy. But, like, I've never actually, like, put the effort into, like, actually... Actually do it. But I wonder how it would fe how it feels to be a voice actor. And, like, to hear your voice coming through another character's mouth, essentially. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of getting Shellbridge Cradle vibes from this. From this. <sighs> the solution is to become the voice behind my veggie games. I mean, I'm more than happy to do that, but, uh, I've never done it before. At least not, uh... Not, like, in any official capacity. I did used to, so... Uh, some fun lore about me. So, when I was in... There was a ser there's a server for a YouTuber called Heart Vegan, and Heart Vegan is a is a cool dude. What the fuck? Are they collecting brains for some reason? What? That's fucking freaky. Anyway, some lore about me. Uh, so Heart Vegan is a. If you don't know, he makes like hentai reviews and it's, like mostly comedic dude's really funny I, I i really enjoy his content nice uh so anyways i would hang out in voice chat with uh a few different people uh from there and fucking we one of the things that we would do is like we'd just read hentai strange something's weird with that door i don't like that uh, it 
Okay, so... Hmm. See, I almost don't want to turn out all the lights. Uh, but we would hang out in VC and we would read, like, hentai comics to, like, basically just acting out each part. Each person would have their own, uh, fucking, like, their character for the comic. And it was, like, it was really dumb. It was really funny. You know, because it was just a bunch of dudes and it was, and it, but, like, we did actually have one chick who was in there. She was pretty cool. I still talk to her sometimes. But, uh. Not super common anymore. Uh huh. All right, I guess this is another point of ingress. Anything over here? I'm looking for a harp. I'm pretty sure the harp is going to be in that weird room. So I'm looking for a harp and I'm looking for paintings. Ooh, okay. Hmm. I don't know if... Is this a... Is this wood that I can shoot? Okay, I can. Nice. <gasps> Fuck. Let me up. I'm actually gonna be so... I need to be so careful with this. Okay, so that killed me. Ah, sounds wild. I mean, it, it was kind of wild. We were... It, it was a strange time in my life. That, that entire... My fucking mouse double-clicked. Hope no one had to be the hentai tentacle monster. Well, usually those the if it was a if it was a tentacle monster, it usually didn't have any voice lines. Oh God, I I think I'm actually, I think I actually fucked myself a little bit here. Come on. Hmm. I don't know how to fucking. I don't know if I can do... Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, so I can I can jump quite a ways. Quite a ways. Just slithering sounds, yeah, basically. Okay, so I need to figure out how best to angle myself so that I can actually do this. Because I've uh, got myself in a bit of a difficult situation. I should have probably aimed a little bit higher. Ah, come on, come on. Well, I didn't take any damage that time. Alright, let's see. Might as well save since I picked up some more stuff. Hmm. Will you stop at nothing in, in this Squidward genocide? I'm cu I'm curious why you keep calling it Squidward. I, I I legit don't hear what you're talking about. No, I had it. I had it. I had it. I had it. No. No. See, I can get it up. I can get on there. I like... I just need to hold space. 
I need to keep holding it until... Okay. Holy shit. That was so much more difficult than... I. Or, okay, so that looks like it's progress towards something. Let's see. I'm going to try not to wake up this corpse. If I can help it. There's specifically that one guard noise that sounds like Squidward crying. There's a ghost in here. There's a, a few ghosts in here. They're standing on top of each other. Ooh, the painting! What's this say? Sir Stephen Har Atkinson Hawtrey. Interesting. I was told these portraits were painted when these people were alive. Okay, so that's that's one of them. They didn't say how many there were. Oh, ne never mind. They did it here. Steal all seven? Holy shit. Seven is a lot of family portraits. Or rather, not family, just, it's a lot of portraits. I'm not gonna lie. That, that number takes me off guard. I was expecting... Three or four, maybe. We're at 11.32 for our loot. What's this say? Lord Whitsimmon is urging the lady to evacuate, despite uh, despite our moderate distance from this accursed cathedral. Most of the house guards have already fled the pathetic cowards. Some even took trinkets and jewelry like rogues. Captain Keffy is still with the lady and has barricaded the front gates. I can hear the raging fires and terrifying battles going on against the undead from my window, several blocks away into Perrin Street. I heard they are trying to build a big wall to contain the undead pouring from the cathedral. Oh, what terrible, dire times! I barely have time to write this. Lord Whitsimmon has arrived with his guard and a contingent of Hammerites to help us flee the old quarter. I don't know if this letter will ever, ever reach you, but I hope you'll be able, I'll be able to see you again. Your love, Biddy. Ugh. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, Biddy. It sounds like you. You. Uh, it sounds like she didn't get the letter, or he didn't. I have no idea. Okay. Let's see. One of the things that I do I, I like about the. Uh, the way the missions work in Thief games is that at least in all of the ooh nice in all of the uh, versions all the missions that I've played so that'll be like coming up on 50 with uh, if you include Deadly Shadows um, in all the missions I've played ooh you can't it, it, there's no way to like fuck yourself and like soft lock the whole thing ooh a gas arrow not particularly useful here with the undead but useful should i need it uh, in the town Like, you can softlock yourself with your saves and whatnot, but, like, there's no way where if you progress too far, you end up uh, making it impossible to get some previous goal. Which is something I always... I really appreciate because I fucking hate it. I hate it when I'm trying to play a game... Ooh... 
Um, and I end up, like, locking myself out of uh, content. Ah. Ouch. Ooh. Alright, I see a family portrait back there. Nice. 1189. Ooh, wow, he really kicked the stool. Sir William Herbert Hawtrey. Oh, that's two. Legend Stites. Ooh, what the fuck? What is this? That's creepy. The threat of prophecy is severed. I mean, that is, that's actually something that I think is another cool thing. I don't know if you guys have seen the video. Uh, there's a YouTube channel called Just Background Noise who made a video uh, showing you how to beat Morrowind without using the main quest. So, like, even if you, even if you kill Vivek and, uh, and have, like, locked yourself out of the quests... And there's no way for you to do that. The only truly essential NPC, the only NPC that you actually need in order to beat the game, is Yagram Bagarn. Otherwise known as the last living dwarf. Ooh. Okay. So this will be three. Sir Paul Victor Harvey Hartree. That's three out of seven. Okay, that door doesn't open. Because, like, even if you fuck up the, uh... Even if you fuck up the normal quest line, and, like, you can't... It's unnaturally cold for some reason, and it won't budge. Yeah, that's uh, that's a weird thing. Oh no, we're going into the basement, ladies and gentlemen. What the fuck? All of these doors are, like, blocked. Rotted meat. Fetid water. Ooh. Grab that. We're at 1229. I'm really hoping that I, I... Oh my god. That after I get all of the uh, paintings... Because I don't think the paintings are getting factored in as, like, loot. I don't think any of the secondary objective stuff has in this game. Which is good, but also, like, a little bit of a departure, I think. Have I been in here? I think it's good because that means that I actually have to loot an, an extra 1500 and I can't just rely on oh I happened to uh, happened across uh, enough stuff. Ooh, what's this? Maximilian Johannes K Gustav Hotry. So that's number 5 or 4. Four. It's okay, guys. I can count. I promise. Ooh, here's another one. Here's number five. Sir Alexander Theodore Guillaume Hatre. 
flute. This is probably the... This is where the harp is, isn't it, shortly? Come on. Without me, that precious harp is beyond your reach. What? Come to me. I don't like that at all. What's that voice? Yeah, what is that voice? Without me, that... What the fuck was that? Hold on. Gosh. Needy bitch. Ooh. Sir Valentino Hector Hawtrey? Alright, we're only missing one more. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. I'll lead you to the treasure you seek. <sighs> just so we know, just so we're all clear, guys. Uh, on the off chance, some disembodied voice starts speaking to you in real life. Don't listen to it. Chances are, it's not God, and chances are, it doesn't have your best intentions or your best uh, interest at heart. I have yet to I have yet to meet a disembodied voice who who wanted good things for me. Generally, disembodied voices want bad things for me. All right, so that's we're back here. Creepy. Ugh. I don't like listening to disembodied voices, but I don't think I have much of a choice at the moment. I think I'm kind of locked into listening to it. But if you are your own disembodied voice and your body is coincidentally following your directions, well, that's great. But th that means that I shouldn't listen to the other disembodied voices because uh, if I... Uh, well, I guess I'd find out then. Because if my body starts listening to the other disembodied voice, then I know it's not me. Meaning that I need to figure out what the fuck's going on because I don't have a body and yet somehow... I, I am. And we start getting into really weird philosophical territory. Will you, though? Somehow I don't think you will. Somehow I think you're gonna, like, try and eat me or something. Ooh, what's this? I haven't been through here, I can tell, because there's lights. Never mind, yes, I have. This is where I came in. Oh, freaky. <laughs> For now. Look. You're gonna you're gonna give me like a fucking existential panic or something <laughs> at this point at this rate. It's like damn dude. Okay, no, we don't need to come in here. Don't think there was anything worth doing. What if the discombobula discombobulated voice wants to want some of your packed lunch? Well, then I know that that voice is Kirby, and I will give it to him. That's him with a capital H, because... Somehow... Somehow I don't think you have my best interest at heart, dude. I'm, like... You're kind of sinister sounding. Like, I hope you don't take this the wrong way. I don't mean it, I don't mean it to be insulting. But uh, you're kind of sinister sounding, and it's uh, it's making me a little nervous.
beacon to the treasure you seek. See, see, look at this thing. Look at it. All right, that's 1500. Good. Ah, okay. You need only allow me to guide you, and the harp will be yours. <sighs> All right, who is this? All right. That's the last one. Sir Stanislas Alphonse Hawtrey. <sighs> Fuck, dude. This thing is creepy. I'm gonna make a hard save. Because this is... It's the last goal. It's the last goal that I need. And he tells me that he can do it. shall wither away to serve their schemes. I don't like this. You can already feel it, can't you? I can't How do anything. How does it feel being branded a sacrifice? I don't... Oh, that's terrifying. My brand comes at a great price for a mortal such as you. But it does have a few benefits. Use my gift well for the What the rest fuck is this? Pitifully short life. What the fuck is this? What's going on? What it Um What's happening to you? Strange sigils on the wall. The harp is nowhere to be found. That thing you sa said you were branded f for somebody. Find out what you can. Well, I saw I saw something in the basement. So, I'm going to go I'm going to try to make my way to the basement. I don't remember how to get there, though. The harp isn't there. I'm pretty sure the harp is fake. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, okay. Um, what the fuck was that? Uh, I guess I go try to try to load my quick save. Cuz I think I quick saved. Yeah, okay. This is after the fact. Can I Alright, this fucking bad zombie. Lay down. I fucking... Oh my god. 
Somehow I had a streak freeze two days in a uh, two days in duo. Dude, that's how I've been feeling pretty much every t every time with Duolingo recently. Like for the past like since the beginning of the new year, I've been fucking up on my duo. It's like I it, it's like I check my phone and I'm like, "Oh, it's been 2 days." I'm like, "What?" Ah, okay, it was this way. God, dude. Fire arrow. Useful. Creepy. There is the master and the rest of our allies. They went deeper beyond the barricades. Master finds us, or rather, the two of you. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? The theme was very specific. We are to keep an eye on the experiments and to make sure the artifact is kept secure. What artifact? Returns with the next batch of Tatiana's flowers. We cannot tame it properly unless it's drunk. That greedy merchant's prices are far too steep for such a product. True. But in the meantime, the use of Tatiana's flowers is the only way, and no one knows of any other item with such properties. Besides, we cannot risk going to the Essie Range ourselves to gather them. The Hand has spies there. And enough talk. Let's get back to work. I think the tool is coming loose. Starting to rot. What the fuck? Is this dude a zombie? Are these necromancers? What the fuck? Oh, the, oh, that's people? Oh my god, I didn't realize those were people. I thought they were undead. No, stop. I thought those were undead. That's why I had the sword out. I thought it... Oh my god, okay. Hold on. Alright, well, if those are people, I can knock them out. So that's comforting, at least. Acolyte Aura. I am very concerned about something, but can't bring myself to tell either Adept Kakim or Azran... Or Azran, Azaran himself. We are mortals and thus require sustenance, but our food and water supplies rot at an alarming rate. Water isn't really a problem since the canal provides all we need, but there are no living creatures anymore around the manor. Our hunting expeditions take us deeper and deeper into the sealed section, and our fresh food expenses are getting far too high. It is worth noting that our experiments cause nearby flora to wither and die among others, and I fear the canal may propagate this blight, as I've noticed dying bushes beyond the gr manor grounds, while the wild are, and truly vegetation elsewhere is untouched. Wild and unruly vegetation elsewhere is untouched. It is also important to mention that every time we leave the manor to buy supplies, we risk being discovered. Something must be done about this. You know who. Dude. I don't think he stays dead permanently, but hey. Uh, okay. 
While I am away studying the aura emanating from the cathedral, pursue the recent progress made in keeping the undead both servile and violent. Fitting flesh for a revenant army. Paramount above even this, however, is to keep ever vigilant of the statuette. No matter our capacity to use it, we are not in control of it. Expect more relays to be lured here unwittingly. Stay behind sealed doors until I return. The prying into ghostly melody... The prying into ghostly melody around the music room is to cease. It is a trick of the statuette. Were there some magical harp on the grounds, we would have discovered it long ago. Well, at least I was right in my initial assessment. Okay. Men of Marco's Chosen. These guys kind of are like Men of Marco's Chosen. Meow. I don't like these undead. Oh my gosh. Alright, so stealing the harp is just not a thing. I guess we just have to... But I kind of want to see what else is in here. Okay. Kind of creepy, this whole necromancer deal. Come on, oh, come on. We're going this way. I'm gonna put you in the room, in the furnace room. Okay, there we go. Monsters, lonely, Dagoth, do something. Dagoth-er? Um, oh, okay, this is the same note as was on the door. That's cool, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Alright, and then this room being the way it is is fine. Okay, let's see. Alright, that's a sealed door. Creepy. What does this say? To Master Gromoval, we're rather satisfied with our little trade so far, but I think I have to remind you again that we are very picky considering your 
are concerning your merchandise. Do I need to remind you of the prices? 2,000 gold for a fresh corpse. 1,000 for a fresh but damaged corpse. 500 for a decomposed corpse. Please don't try to bargain again and ask for other another raise. I do believe we already give you more than enough. Another thing, there is no need to try your chance again with your puny embalming techniques. We are far from being dimwits and even further from being patient. You know who. I don't know. I feel like trying to cheat a necromancer or a warlock or any other traditionally evil, like, wizard types is just bound to end in a bad time. You know, even if you succeed, it's just like, they'll, they'll find out that they've been scammed. And that's just not someone you really want to make into your enemy. All right, let's find out where this goes. Ah, this is the one that I was looking for before. Okay. All right, we're getting out of here. All we have to do is escape. We just have to go back to the to the, to the meeting. Meaning that sexy wizard may end in disaster. Pretty much, dude. Alright. Ooh. Down we go. Um. Oh, wait. It's the other side. Whoops. All right, we just have to get back to where we started, so that's not too bad to do. And we have all the gold we need. Meow. I will not lie, that... The, the manor kind of reminded me of Shale Bridge a little bit. Not like, oh, this is very obviously, like, this is the, the Shale Bridge level. It just kind of, like... <sighs> It kind of just, I think it's just because it's a big building in the middle of nowhere, or not in the middle of nowhere, but it's a big building in the middle of the city that kind of, uh, that has ghosts in it. I think that's what's, what's really doing it for me, is that it, it's, is that combination of stuff. All right, so now we need to get back across this. Ugh. Oh, wait. What is it? Yo? Yo, that's sick! That's sick! Oh my god! This brand is fucking awesome! Elixir Salutis, a cho the choice drink of health. Dude, oh my god, I was right. This is our. F this is where we leave. Holy shit, dude! Dude, that's awesome. What a fucking badass level. What a good fucking game, dude. Holy shit! That's fucking awesome! Oh my god, that's amazing! What's up, dude? Fuck you, stealing some.
some extra money. What are you meowing at, dude? Alright, um, I need to get back to where I started, so I need to go up. go up from here. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but he's being really annoying right now. The door isn't even locked. What are you doing? Come inside if you want the if you want to hang out. Oh, he just went he has the it's the 120 a.m. zoomies. All right, let's see. Ah, this is probably where I want to shoot at this thing. Oh my god. I'm actually so annoyed with that. It's like I clipped the side of the side like just ever so slightly. <sighs> See, it should be okay. I know where I am now. The question is if I can really if I can make this jump. Nice. All right, so I've made that jump, and I should be able to just get back to the beginning from here, as there's this. Dude, I fucking... Dude, this level blew my fucking mind with that last, with, with that last like, rune. Yep, and then there's that. And I just come over here. I'm home, baby. Dude. Okay. That was amazing. That was that was actually so fucking cool. Let's take a look at our stats real quick. So, one backstab, that's the uh, zombie that I killed. I got only... I, actually, is that... No, it's just barely over half the loot. <laughs> I think half the loot would have been... Uh, 1564. I got 1573. Holy shit. Alright. Bodies discovered by enemies, one. That's fine. Holy shit. We've completed all our goals? Alright. We'll watch the next cutscene like we normally do. The boss is displeased with you, but sends his regards nonetheless. That was Garrett, right? What the fuck? <clears throat> Knowledge and observation are the keystone of our order. And yet, 
even though we never deviate from our goal. The sheer amount of knowledge and observation required to ensure the balance is kept intact sometimes makes us blind. Ever since I touched that hideous, accursed statuette, I've been witnessing things I've never seen before, and it makes my skin crawl. Ethereal gliding glows appear and vanish. Statues whisper, and strange hooded figures observe people from afar, and walk in crowds where not a bloody soul notices them. I feel like my body and mind are playing tricks on me. These guys aren't phantoms, they're flesh and bone, and yet nobody seems to acknowledge their existence. I've been carefully watching these people for a few days, and they all appear to go to the same place deep into the bowels of the city. They must have some sort of underground lair or something akin to that. I've even seen some of them walk through solid walls with strange glimmering symbols on them that again, nobody seems to even see. What's interesting is that most of these guys carry books, large ones at that too. Could they perhaps be linked to the necromancers I found in the derelict Howtree Manor? Is this the gift this damn statuette talked about? I intend to know the truth. Today. My apartment window gives me a good view on the streets. And it just so happens that one of these hooded blokes is walking by. Following his trail will hopefully lead me to their meeting point. And if they are linked to the necromancers, perhaps I can find some useful information on how to get rid of that curse. That is, if I can trail him unnoticed while avoiding the local watchdogs. These guys are on edge because of a sudden increase in burglaries in the district, no doubt perpetrated by the famous Downwind Thieves Guild. My ghoulish attire will bring me trouble if I'm seen, even during the day. But there's a storm coming, and the foggy streets of the industrial district are mostly deserted, so I shouldn't have too much trouble if I'm careful. I have no idea what I'm going to find by following this guy, but it's certainly better than staying here and waiting for a painful death. Wow. Dude, I am... Oh my god, that's amazing. The story has just completely, like, ramped up in, like, scope and everything now. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna make a... I'm just gonna fucking zoom through this whole thing and I'm gonna save. And then, and then uh, I'll go to the just chatting and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this for a little bit because I, I am fucking hyped about this. So, I'll make a new save. And then we will... I'm gonna go ahead and just quit this. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? This is spooky, what the fuck is going on? Okay, so... So... Fucking, what just happened, right, is we were sent to this, uh, this manor to steal a harp. A harp that was uh, allegedly inlaid with, uh, with amethysts. We went to the, we went to the manor, we stole, we stole the portraits and stuff, like we were, to, like, uh, we, to, to make some money, presumably. And the harp that we were supposed to steal was not there. Like, it just didn't exist. When we went to the music room, we found a flute, and then a voice started talking to us. A voice that, presumably, is coming from a statuette. When I tried to touch the statuette, it branded me as a sacrifice, apparently. But this brand allows me to see runes and shit on the walls. So for anybody who doesn't remember from uh, Thief Deadly Shadows, it was a long time ago, I don't blame you. Uh, but Thief Deadly Shadows introduces uh, these glyphs on the walls uh, that the Keepers, that's the people who trained Garrett after he they realized he had a natural gift for stealth, uh, after the, the Keepers use these glyphs to move about the city unnoticed and also to like as like entrances to their 
to to their uh, lair, essentially. And now it seems that Hume is capable of seeing the glyphs, and more even more importantly, he is able to see the keepers, who are all but invisible to everybody else. Right. So theoretically, right now, Hume could pro who Hume could theoretically see Garrett. Right, and like, just like, notice that he's there. It's it's like a thing that's, like, that. it's hinted that the Keepers are somewhat, are like, have like a supernatural ability with stealth, right? It's not, I don't think it's ever stated outright, like, oh yeah, the Keepers use magic to stay out of sight. You know, but like the, like, the fact that they are capable of just not being noticed by pretty much everybody is kind of in it like a a superpower that they have and Hume can now just see right through that gay thief magic pretty much dude it's like it, so like now because Hume has noticed all of these uh like these these figures that he's never noticed before he i think the plan is to raid a keeper's lair like, we haven't done that since Deadly Shadows, and I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't a super, super big fan of, like, as far as official Thief games go, I think Deadly Shadows is, like, the lowest, other than 2014, but that's, I don't consider that a Thief game. As far as, like, the actual good, good Thief games go, it's, like, my least favorite of them, but still, like, dude... This is so we a group of necromancers is in the mansion and they don't control the statuette. We're not sh I'm not sure what the, what the necromancers have to do with this. I know that they're obviously bad news, but they are trying and, and that they're trying to make like an undead army or whatever. But I don't know what the, their relationship to the statuette is. Or what the statuette wants. This is this is like actually super exciting for me. I think it's so cool because now the scope of the story has gone from, oh, Hume is like a, a small time crook, right, stealing stuff from nobles, like any like kind of like how the beginning was with Garrett, and then it's like oh he gets in over his head, gets sold out, and now he's working for a nobleman, same as Garrett. And now something has happened that has fucked up the situation, and now we need to figure out what's going on. It's it is it is so so good. I I love this mod. I I think it's so. I oh my god, this is amazing. This is actually some of the best thief that I've ever ever played. Like the levels are super in depth, super fucking like there's a lot of verticality there's a lot of stuff to see there's it, there's oh my god i love it i love it i love it this is fucking amazing I'm gonna loot something too big soon dude if if the next level the next level should have another i don't know about twist it should have something go on with it because i don't think that the keepers are just gonna let some guy wander in and I, either you know, steal stuff from them, or, like, I, I have a feeling that, it, how, however the mission goes, we're go, we're gonna get noticed in some way, and hopefully we'll get an explanation, and they'll be, and we'll get some, have some more light shed on the situation, and they can explain to us, uh, what the necromancers are doing, and what the statuette is, because I, th oh my god, it's so fucking cool. Because the, the existence of the Necromancers actually explains, uh, it, it explains why there's so many undead in the, in the sealed, sealed section, I think they called it. Because, like, normally, it, 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 it's a little bit of a question, but, like, I think it's usually just kind of like, oh, untended bodies become zombies or something. Like, in, uh, in, like, the, in the older games, it's just like, I don't think it's ever explained outright. My god. I, I love this game. I'm so happy that it exists. 
Black Parade is a, the best Thief has ever been, as far as I'm concerned. I'm, I think this is the fifth uh, fifth level out of out of uh, ten, and I I can I can say confidently, it is it is the best Thief I've ever played at this point. And if anything, if there's anything to go by in a fucking, what's it called? If there's anything to go, go by in, uh, with other, other fan missions and whatnot, like, or uh, the review, not even reviews. I haven't watched any reviews because I didn't, this is another game I didn't want to like spoil for myself because I did want to play the Black Parade on stream. Uh, but the. I have I have not heard anybody say anything negative. So, I, to as far as I'm aware, this game doesn't drop doesn't fumble the bag like in the in the second half or anything like that. I am so, I am so happy I play, I'm playing this game. All right, that's enough of me uh, sucking off the black parade though. So I hope you guys had a good time. I certainly did. Obviously, I hope you guys have a good re uh, a continued good rest of your. Uh, waking period, whatever that may be. Uh, I hope you guys, uh, we're, we're going to be playing the Black Parade again tomorrow. Um, it'll be tomorrow and then we're playing Crash on Friday and then it'll be Black Parade again on, or I think it's, uh, I don't remember exactly what my schedule is. I do know that I am, uh, probably, I, I, I think I'm taking Saturday off because I'm going to visit family. Uh, but then I'll be back on Sunday for some uh, for some more Bard's Tale. So I hope you guys uh, have a good one. Bye bye. Sucking it off, eh? Mental images. Hey, I I I I mean everything that I say. Okay. I hope you guys have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs>